Now we turn back to our top story tonight, and that is Joe Biden addressing the nation about COVID-19, the pandemic, even kind of taking credit for everything, the vaccines that he had nothing to do with, uh, without any thanks to the Trump administration. No mention of when he will hold the press conference. 50 days and counting. Joining us now, live from the White House, Fox News White House correspondent Peter Ducey. Uh, Joe says he likes you. Will Joe do a sit down? He says, I don't I like the tough questions. Okay, when do we get Ducey versus Joe? I'm dying to see that. And uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's Maybe. a new day. You never know. We can ask. It doesn't wanna, hurt to ask. You want to do an over and under on that, Peter? Because uh, I don't think you're going to win. <laughs> uh, well, again, you never know if you don't ask. But, uh, Sean, we are doing some detective work at the White House here. Uh, today, the president said in the next couple days, he'll be able to take reporter questions. Jen Psaki has said he's going to do a press conference before the end of the month. That's March. Uh, some back in the napkin math. 14 work days left in March. We don't know which one it is going to be, but they set a deadline for themselves. Now, he hasn't done a formal solo press conference per se, but on January 25th, he did talk to reporters in a back and forth for about 20 minutes. Uh, during the campaign, we were with him all over the country. He only ever really did like an informal gaggle and he took questions. And then once we got to Wilmington, they would put him up on a stage and they would take questions from five reporters or so every two or three weeks. Uh, that was a situation where they did have a staffer off to the side with a list of people to call on. We were never on the list, but we still had a lot of luck because he would listen for uh, my shouts at the end with the questions about whatever. So my experience with Biden has always been that he likes to mix it up. He has told me on camera that he knows that a hard question with an edge is coming. And 50 days does sound like a long time. And our brain room has confirmed for us that that is the longest a new president has gone in the modern era without one of these press conferences. However, at one point during the coronavirus lockdowns last year, he went 89 days without a press conference. It was when he was uh, apart from the press corps for social distancing reasons and he was not traveling. We could not get close right. enough to shout. Uh, the neighbors there in Wilmington would have been really upset if we were trying like that. But uh, so 50 days, a long time for a president, uh, but maybe not for Joe Biden, at least based on recent history. One quick last question. I only have a second. Does circle back Jen Psaki circle back ever? Does she get back to you? She does or somebody from the staff does. Yes. They circle it back. It happens. Oh, it happens. It ha I love circling back. Now, if I send a list of questions, they don't seem to answer my requests. I'm, I'd love to interview Jen Psaki. She's welcome on for a full hour. I have a lot of questions for her. Joe can have a full day. I'll give him three hours of radio and an hour of TV. See if he can hang. All right, Peter Ducey, thank you. Appreciate you being with us.